Hello, insiders! Today we're going to try something a little bit different, and we've been reading your comments with suggestions on what we should do on this channel, and that's what we're going to try out today. We're going to be reading some of the feedback that you've been leaving us in the analytics product, and we're also going to be reading some tweets, some very interesting tweets about analytics. So let's dive right in. Robin, do you want to introduce yourself? I think you're new to this channel, right? Uh, yes. Uh, well, thanks for having me. Uh, so I'm Robin. I work with Patricia on uh, YouTube analytics. And so here's here's the first tweet uh, from Snowshin. Um, YouTube analytics be like, Monday, awesome. People are enjoying your content more than usual. Tuesday, good. Uh, people are enjoying as they normally would. Friday, you suck. Delete your channel. So we do definitely try to minimize uh, sort of these fluctuations in, in feedback. Um, we, we really try to make sure that we understand sort of what typical performance for you is. But if you have like a particularly strong or maybe not so well performing video, this can definitely happen. Um, also, if you had one of these sort of in, in the past, it can influence um, that. If you ever get the feeling that um, we're sort of not mindful of, of your well-being, um, please let us know in the feedback and we'll try, to, uh, we'll try to eliminate that as best as we can. So next we have Simone, who is also posting a screenshot on Twitter of our latest video performance card with a message saying, your audience interest in this video or topic is lower than usual and asking, but what if I add more teeth? Well, uh, you're totally right that this is not a particularly helpful message. And while we're continuously trying to improve these messages and make them more helpful, provide more guidance on what you could possibly do on this video or future videos, it's not at 100% like we would like it to be. So this roast is, is totally justified. Um, we are not currently able to tell you if your video should have more or less teeth. Okay, what's our next one, Robin? Um, well, I thought this was a pretty good one. Um, yeah, so we definitely, uh, we definitely laughed at that. So first of all, congrats on hitting number one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the sparkles. Um, if you have ideas for other things we could do, maybe when your video is not doing so well, um, let us, uh, let us know. Okay, for our next tweet, we're going to do a lightning round, Robin. I'm going to be showing a tweet, and we want you to react on the spot. So let's get this one started. Um, yeah, uh, this is actually not the same for, for everyone. Um, and you, if you go to the audience tab, you'll, uh, you'll actually see for your channel when most of your viewers are, are online. Um, and so you can use that to like um, post your videos or definitely for, for live streams. Um, and we hope you, you find it useful. Okay, next one. Oh. Okay, so yeah, there were like essentially zero views on on that, um, and we in the product don't seem to be handling that uh, super well. Is, isn't that like one of these cases, like like when when Fiona got sparkles for like zero views because her other three videos also had zero views? Yep, that's exactly the same case. <laughs> we're on, we're on it. Um, we'll uh, we'll think about what we can uh, what we can do here. Awesome. Let's move on to our next section where we're going to be discussing some cases where you left us feedback in the product directly, so not on Twitter. And we, the team, reads through all of those. It's not just me and, and product managers, engineers, and designers all look at this feedback as well. And we do take decisions and change the product based on that. So let's go through one example, specifically about real time, where we know that that's a report that many of you love. And earlier this year, we changed the layout of analytics, as you've probably noticed. There's now a side section where we have um, real time that and there's sub counts that are updating live. So, um, Robin, do you want to read some of these some of these responses that we got on the on the send feedback button? Sure. I want to be able to see a breakdown of my views in the last 60 minutes, not just the last 48 hours. I like it but I don't like that it's compressed down the real-time stats section so much. The real-time analytics chart used to be bigger and below with enough space, but now it's not. I find this frustrating. So 
Patricia, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, all very good pieces of feedback. We love it when you're specific about what exactly um, you're referring to. So indeed, based on this feedback, we added the switcher directly on the card where you can switch between 48 hours and 60 minutes. So that functionality is still there. Um, also, we added more data to that card. Initially, that first version of the card had didn't have as much data as it used to have. Now, for example, we still have the little charts that show you for each traffic source, um, how are those views looking? And of course, you still have now the option to click on that see more button on the real-time card that opens up a full screen page where you can see all your real-time stats with as much space as you want. Now, that might not still be a good answer for some of you as it is still more squished in that initial view. This was a trade-off that we had to make because some of you, on the other hand, were not finding the card because it was below and it was you had to scroll to get there. So many times in product, it's a trade-off between solving one problem and potentially making another problem. And we try to balance those two things and your feedback is super useful to make those decisions. Let's go through another example. This one specifically is about one of analytics monthly report. So it's a report that shows up in the first few days of the month. And let's go through some of the feedback that we got on that. Robin? Yeah, so here we actually like, we really got like two kinds of, uh, of feedback. There was feedback such as, would be good to have a toggle to see daily and monthly views. I prefer the daily views to see trends. Monthly does not show me the impact of my recent uploads. It's too diluted. Please change it back to the line graph with daily metrics. Thanks. That's sort of one category of feedback. But then we also got a lot of feedback like, I like it. It's a bit easier to see growth. I think the monthly overview is great. I like to see it extended to the other modules, reach, engagement, audience, and revenue. Seems like it will be helpful for identifying monthly trends throughout the year. Or simply, seeing the monthly average is very helpful. I love the new feature. So, Patricia, how do we, how do we deal with that? Yeah, exactly. So this is a case where we got both positive feedback and negative feedback. How do we deal with this? While, of course, we can just count and say, like, which, which camp wins, that's not always statistically significant, and we still feel the need to address the negative comments. So what we did there was we introduced a toggle on that chart where you're now able to flip between monthly and daily views, um, and you can take that choice. And we see, actually, in the data that a lot of you are clicking on that. However, we still feel that for this monthly report, that monthly bar chart is indeed helpful to see longer term views. So this is just two examples of how we're using those comments that you leave on the send feedback links. Please keep them coming. As you see, we, we really do take them seriously and we try to act on them. So definitely keep it coming. Now, taking a step back, what did you think about this video? Should we do more things like this? Let us know in the comments below. So thank you so much. Thanks Robin for participating as well. And uh, see you next time. Keep it real.